as we enter the 23rd year of the 21st century Guyana is poised and aligned strategically for great advancement and successes both nationally and globally however the pathway for this advancement will not be easy unless there's a structural change in the current operational topography hence the spiritual fervency of unending prayers with great intercession needs to be intensified at all godly places of worship as we get ready to advance as a people the Spirit of God is saying it is time to take action. Change strategy and insist the right things be done in its structural layout. Pray for the continuous growth and viability of the economic setups against investment conspiracy that will cause an economic catastrophe and thereby make down the gains previously achieved. This year will be a season of action and a time to end procrastination. Individually and collectively it's a time of awakening to resume delayed and abandoned projects for God shall cause help from above as you begin to move forward this year will be a season of no more delays this year will be a season of no more delays therefore the houses of prayer should be reconstructed and rededicated as this will be the spiritual backbone and the lifeline in 2023 for Guyana and her citizens in other words prayer without compromise will be the powerhouse of the season Guyana needs to pray fervently against the destabilization of lives and properties as criminal enterprises will be on the rise but the law shall continue to protect his people the law shall continue to protect his people pray for the law enforcement agencies that they have the will and the fortitude to combat and solve these impending escalating crimes as well as the breakdown the barrier and the spirit of racism in promotional placements and assignments Guyana must pray intensely against the rising of evil men and women in leadership to advance to avert the provocation of God's judgment. Therefore, prayers must be dedicated to us advocating for God-fearing leaders that will honor and advance the sovereign will and rule of God over this nation. Take note on just leaders will be the major reason for judgment of God in the 23rd season. Example, in 2 Kings chapter 23, follow me, listen carefully. 2 Kings 23, King Josiah destroyed priests who worship idols and taught the people to, to, to do the same. The, to the third book of the Bible is the book of Isaiah. And Isaiah prophesied 
against unjust leaders. In Jeremiah 23, the prophet pronounced judgment on spiritual leaders that misled the people. In Matthew 23, Jesus denounced the religious leaders of his days for their hypocrisy and duplicity. In Matthew 23 again, I tell you again, Jesus denounced religious leaders of his days of their hypocrisy and duplicity. So consequently, heaven is about to break in silence over the land. Heaven is about to break in silence over this land. As God have kept silent and watch evil and wickedness prevail for a long time. But this year, heaven is about to break in silence. And the people shall rejoice as deliverance and healing will be seen across the land. Consequently, the Spirit of God is calling and warning all those in both political divide to immediately find a common ground and a political will to end the underground tension due to political hostilities and marginalizations to avoid several impending violent unrest and disruption of social and economic activities leading to several shutdowns. Pray intensely for the, judicial, for the judicial sector as it comes under a serious unethical attacks and wrongful placements that will cause a distortion in the dispensation of justice. There will be a shake-up leading to a major untimely resignations. Pray without ceasing for divine judicial intervention to avert to avert the collapse of law and order due to misinterpretation and misrepresentation of the law as the courts once again shall be the center stage of events filled with several national litigations creating impasse and suspense but the Lord shall bring peace at the end the agricultural sector will witness an increase in production despite some losses incurred due to natural disaster and lack of preparedness region 3 4 5 and 6 take heed care and safety care safety and due diligence should guide the oil sector to avert a sudden sickness and disease outbreak and work related high risk accident nevertheless there will be a rise in income generation as the Lord opens the heavens over this nation as we continue to to petition heaven 2023 will be a year to break through barriers a year to dismantle forces a year to tear down evil powers of monopoly and destiny blockers by a heavenly force in other words there's going to be an amalgamation of, of, of sudden heavenly powers to intervene and turn around what was already concluded as over in this season the rising of the proud and boastful will pave way for a new generation of leaders young leaders as God begin to transition some leaders a 
as God begins to transition some leaders in a very unusual way and circumstances this new generation of young people we give new direction and decency to this blessed nation however prayers must be intensified against the spirit of chronic corruption that will deeply erode away the prosperity of this nation as Guyana once again becomes the focal point of discussion in the news in the news media as well as most lending nations and institutions globally rejoice and pray all hope is not lost for God's grace and mercy shall not depart from this nation hence Guyana will be restored Guyana will be restored Guyana will be restored as there shall be international and local leadership intervention due to the prospective economic boom the nation will continue to witness bilateral and MOUs being signed with various friendly and even non-friendly nations we must therefore take the utmost care and time required for consultation before engaging in these agreements that are capable of depleting the resources for even generations yet unborn Guyana will witness several favors in the movement of people and goods as two major countries will be removing the titanic visa restriction and movement of people of goods and services so this is your season to boast in God this is your season to boast in God in Psalm 23 the service boasted about this God he expressed great confidence in the God of Israel 2023 is a year to trust God and speak confidently about him this year the Lord will be granting revelations concerning the future of his prophetic people therefore it is the year to see and to seize the future it is the year to see and to seize the future this is a year to act with your future in view however pray for the body of Christ against sudden passing of a major popular religious leader that will cause a shaking in the body of Christ and a shift in the spiritual genealogy and topography 2023 we witness the intensification of God's presence again this year we witness the intensification of God's presence and power to war against powerless religion and to shake up empty boasters while honoring his authentic vessels consequently the spirit of God is reminding us to be authentic and real with God as hypocrisy will be exposed and confronted pray for God's mercy and his extended grace that his judgment for this year we have a demarcated boundary of application that must not be crossed like the Passover night when a death angel was sent over the land of Egypt to eliminate all the firstborn sons of the Egyptians in 2023 
the voice of God will sound so powerfully like never heard before since the beginning of the 21st century as the whole earth will experience his dunamis power of greatness as the voice of God gets louder and louder the voice of some big cooperations the voice of pharmaceutical industries involved in drug manufacturing will suddenly was cold as another planned pandemic will be exposed and averted as God begins to rescue and restore humanity so get into position and listen out for God's instruction to advance as the Lord your God has given you victory ahead. Amen. Clap your hands, give God some cup. Come on. Hey! Hey! Shakata bada bada bada. Hey! Say Let's worship God. Come on, worship God. 